The Canada Crystal Cup is next. This is race 42 of the week. Two and a half miles. Thanks, chaps. Leave me two and a half mile races at the end of a gruelling 42 rate, 43 race week. George Orwell at the top. Paul Rhodes. Hybrid October. Graham Clutterbuck. Drop Fall and Bluebell. Chester David Robertson. Heavens Riches. Craig Beck with Go Time. Joshua Sutherland. Lucky Angel. Craig Beck with Lady Warsong. Padre Hogan. Ida Trap. Darren Thompson. That's your field then. Nine of them installed and away they go with go time closest to us in the lead and it's go time in front lady warsong in the yellow has now come through the challenge george orwell is now probably going to just come through and get the lead as we go through get a, another two and a half mile handicap on the flat I really would like somebody to point out to me why we have so many of these. You look at the real racing calendar, there are absolutely nowhere near this many two and a half mile handicaps. And I do not believe that anybody sits at home playing this game thinking, I'm going to breed myself a two and a half mile handicapper. Anyway, George Orwell's in front from Lucky Angel in second. And Bluebell, Chester and Drop 4. These are just horses that they wanted to win the Gold Cup at Ascot and didn't. Mm, didn't end up being good enough to get in it. We don't need this many long distance races and we don't need this many long distance horses. George Orwell's in front. Sorry if you like them, but I'm sure most of you, and I know you do because you've admitted it to me quite a few of you, quite often you just skip to the last two furlongs of the race if you've got one in it and the rest of them you don't watch anyway. So... I know some do watch them, but I'm going to try and find a way of making these races interesting when I've already commentated on 41 races before it on the flat this week, plus usually half as many again on the jumps, but luckily for me, Stu has stepped in this season and done a little bit more than he wanted to do. And it's very difficult to get enthusiastic about a two and a half mile flat handicap when you've been watching flat racing for I was going to say 58 years but that would mean I started watching it from the minute I was born and I don't ever remember seeing anybody getting excited about big flat handicaps over two and a half miles apart from maybe the ones at Royal Alaska but even then they don't bother right then they stick them at the end of the day and most of the crowd go home early and they're full of jumpers anyway. So these races are just totally pointless. And we need to get rid of them and cut the thing down. It's really got to be a case of when I started, there was 10 races a day. Um, and there were twice as many trainers. I know we only had one in a race then. But we don't need 43 races in a week. We've had 43 races every week on the flat since Royal Ascot week. And it's too many. Because this week we've had races with two, well, with three runners in it, five runners in it, six runners in it. Um, it needs a massive overhaul for me. Um, this is a division which needs cutting back totally. George Orwell's in the lead from Ida Trap second. Lady Warsong is third. Bluebell Chester then drop four. And go time. Hybrid October and Lucky Angel at the back. take twice as long for the race runners to run and take twice as twice as long for the commentators to commentate on and most people fast forward to the result on from what I can gather anyway Ida Trapp's now taking it up from George Orwell second Lady Warsong is third hybrid October is fourth that one is starting to make a little bit of ground still two and a half furlongs to go and Ida Trapp is clear in the lead Of length to George Orwell in second, Lady Warsong is third, Hyman October is fourth, Heaven's Riches after that one in Blue Bell Chester. And they race down into the final furlong. It's Ida Trap who's in the lead. George Orwell now sweeping by around the outside, and George Orwell is going to come through and take it. So George Orwell with the win then. 
from Ida Trap second, Heavens Richie's third, then Bluebell Chester. And Highbury in October. And George Royal the winner. Full roads. Ida Trap second, Darren Thompson, Heavens Richie's third, Greg Beck with Bluebell Chester, David Robertson fourth, and Highbury in October for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.